Oh, these lights are so sudden. Oh my goodness, these lights. Turn the lights off. It's so sudden, these lights. Oh, oh my eyes. Hi here, Finns here. I am back for one of my independent reviews, giving my review of all 37 entries for Eurovision 2023. Next up, I'm talking about Latvia. Latvia is here to review, and <laughs> they are sending us a band this year called Sudden Lights, and the song is I Yeah I Ka. <laughs> to the contest this year. And yes, bringing us a bit of a, a kind of indie pop, a kind of rock band, um, you know, and I've got to say, out of all the entries this year, this is definitely probably one of my biggest grow of the year. <laughs> yeah, boy. At first listen, I wasn't as feeling it, you know, I kind of thought a bit demo-y, okay, it runs out of steam by the end. But no, understanding kind of the meaning and the message about trying to call somebody for a lullaby, it's like giving the world a bit of a lullaby. I can gradually understand it. It's like, it starts out, and then it goes, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it, I understand it more now after constant listen, and I do think... It's a grower, maybe not a shower for Latvia, but maybe it's a good thing, you know, for that. Um, yeah, I think Latvia is a grower than a shower. So yeah, I think this is actually a, a catchy song. Don't cry, I'll say. Right words at the right time, sing you lullabies. It's quite catchy, it gets stuck in your head, so that's good. And yeah, I think I've grown to like this more after so many listens of the song, so that's a good sign. Um, yeah, I, I think I really like it more after my first listen. And yeah, I think this is actually a not bad entry at all from Latvia, you know. The one thing I would say is I didn't really like the national selection staging. It did feel like, okay, they're just borrowing Anne Sophie's uh, black smoke lights in the background. Okay, we don't, uh, you know, I, I like black smoke Anne Sophie, that didn't deserve zero points, but you know what I mean, they could have put a bit more effort. I like the music video, I think that's quite effective, you know. They tell the story a bit better in the music video with all the the, the, the bodies going. <laughs> and there's a bit of that going along. Um, I think they tell the story better in the music video, but yeah, again, of course you can only have six people on the Eurovision stage. So I don't know how they're going to stage it at Eurovision. Um, but yeah, Latvia, I I like the song. It's, it's one of the ones where I go, actually, this ain't that bad from Latvia than I originally thought. So yeah, this is good. Now Latvia will compete in the first half of the first semi-final. They will perform in the number four spot in the running order. They are going to be between Serbia and Portugal in the running order. So... Yeah, they are in more stronger of the two semi-finals this year, unfortunately, Latvia. But they didn't get the number two spot. So that's good. I mean, Latvia's qualification rate ain't that good. I mean, they've only qualified twice since 2009. So that's not a good sign. Um, and they don't have any Baltic friends in their semi. Uh, but they've got Nordic... I think the Nordic countries will throw a bone to Latvia. And they have got Ireland. And Lithuania ain't here, so maybe... Ireland 
would give a lot of points to Latvia. They did give 12 points to Aminata in 2015, Ireland did. So, yeah, I, I, I've got... I think this has a chance, Latvia, to qualify, but it's a borderline chance. I think if it qualifies, it'll be 9th from 10th. You know, it would be a nice story if this gets through. I think, you know, Latvia has struggled in the past to get get through. I think this is probably Latvia's best chance of making the final. That being said, I kind of thought Sissi Zeni was going to qualify last year and clearly Europe wasn't feeling it. So I was wrong with that. But maybe there's a place for it in the final if it gets lucky and gets through. Um, I'm just concerned will people remember it, how much the staging will be impactful for viewers. But there are some people that really like this song and really get behind it. So maybe Latvia could be the surprise qualifier that that could be there <laughs> on the Tuesday nights. You never know. Um, so yeah. Yeah, let's watch this space. In any case, Latvia will... B oh no, I've done that. <laughs> it's too late. It's half two in the morning. I need to do these videos quickly. Anyway, a score out of ten, very quickly. I'm giving this... I'm giving Latvia a 6.5. And that is fair. I think I like it more than my original. And I like the change of pace now. And I... I like the structure of the song, and it's very catchy, so I like catchy songs. <laughs> I like them more, so when they have that hook in the song. But no, I think this is cool. They're cool guys, they're nice guys at the end of the day. It was so much potential. I just hope Latvia doesn't mess up the staging. I thought last year, Sissy Zeni had the best staging for Latvia, as it's Aminata. Um, I remember Sam Amfatina that empty staging so Latvia you know can be a bit hit or miss with staging so I just hope that they get a, a good execution for the staging um so we'll wait and see on that in any case what do you think of the Latvian song is it lights off or lights on for you comment down below in the comment section below like and subscribe to this video and I'll be back for more independent reviews on this channel until then goodbye people goodbye and don't cry I'll say the right words at the right time sing you lullabies please don't wake up wake up